For the first time in nearly 30 years, Washington State Senate has issued a subpoena, this time against Governor Jay Inslee. The Republican-led chamber says it wants documents related to the Department of Corrections' error that resulted in the mistaken early release of thousands of inmates. But Democrats say the subpoena is just political theater. King 5 John Langler live in Olympia with the story. Well, Dennis, we're just 10 days into a 60-day short legislative session. And Republican senators say that time frame is why they want thousands of documents from the Department of Corrections and the governor's office now. Democrats say they're moving as fast as they can. The glittering lights of Olympia's theaters had nothing on the political stagecraft inside the Capitol Tuesday night. Inside the Senate Rules Room, the discussion was relatively brief on a question that had not been asked since 1988, whether to issue subpoenas. If we had all of the information that the chair of law and justice wanted, we wouldn't be here tonight. The Republican-controlled Senate wants thousands of documents related to the mistaken early release of more than 3,200 prisoners over a 13-year period. At least two people were killed by inmates who should have been in prison. A first request was made in late December, and Republican senators say the response was inadequate. But the governor's office denies that claim and says it's gathering the documents for the Senate and for itself. Governor Inslee opened an inquiry when the problem was revealed. The act of issuing a subpoena suggests guilt and unwillingness to comply. Senator Schessler said, to begin with, we are all seeking the truth. I believe that contradicts the need for a subpoena at this time. Nonetheless, Senate Republicans want to use a subpoena to get what they want now. The governor should be investigating, but so should the legislature. The vote was along party lines, so senators will issue two subpoenas. Democrats call it political theater. Republicans say it's a quest for answers. This isn't about uh, punishment. This is about seeking the truth. And a subpoena will help that? I think it gives us the power to make sure that we get the documents and get them in a timely manner. Soon after the vote, uh, Lieutenant Governor Brad Owen signed the subpoenas. They were given to Washington State Patrol, and they will be delivered to the governor's office and to the Department of Corrections first thing tomorrow morning. Live at the Capitol, John Langler, King 5 News. Thank you, John. This evening, Governor Inslee's spokeswoman responded to the Senate subpoena, saying in part, from the day the governor discovered this 13-year error, he has been wholly focused on fixing it and ensuring those responsible are held accountable. There is no information to be gained through a subpoena that isn't already available to them through normal public records procedures. Our office will continue to provide documents as requested. The governor will not cease in his efforts to fix this problem and hold the right people accountable. Republicans in Olympia are issuing subpoenas following the early release of more than 3,000 prisoners in Washington. GOP leaders say they don't trust the governor and his associates have given the full story. Well, at least two deaths have been linked to prisoners that should have been in jail. And CR Douglas has an update on the growing scandal. Guys, today's move by the GOP sets the stage for those pretty rare subpoenas to be issued. GOP leaders, they say they're demanding everything they can get, including correspondence from the governor himself to determine exactly why the scandal happened and whether Inslee was aware of the problem for longer than he has admitted. We owe it to the public to find out what happened and be objective. We believe that, you know, we were sent here by the people. There's 147 legislators down here. We are that branch that's the closest to the public out there, and the public is out crying with concerns of this. The goal is to find out what the truth is. Today, Republicans claim that the investigation of this huge problem by the governor's appointees is being done behind closed doors and that much more transparency is needed. They clearly don't trust the process so far. Now, I talked to the governor's office today. They say these subpoenas aren't necessary because they intend to provide all relevant material in the next several days. But this move certainly ratchets up tensions between Inslee and the GOP over who is responsible for this scandal and who can get to the bottom of it. Guys, back to you.